Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel here, and welcome to my Anycubic Predator. So I'm going to be doing a video series on this printer with uh, putting clipper on it, doing a couple upgrades to the effector, and a couple other things. So to start off, I bought this printer used uh, for $250 Canadian, so it was a really good buy. And um, it's a giant printer. It's about 370 um, on the X and Y and like 470 on the Z. So really, really large printer. And um, it does have some pretty decent build quality. Uh, it does use uh, V-slot wheels, which I'm not a massive fan of, but they do work. It does use a ball land uh, effector arms. It does use a, I think a V6 or a E3D V5 clone or something like that hot end. Um, a really obscure kind of hot end you can't get anymore type thing. Uh, difficult to find parts for. I think maybe the previous owner has modified the thermistor or something. Um, this printer does print. However, there are definitely some issues with it. Um, you can see here, cooling is uh, cooling is pretty rough on this printer. I, I printed this at like 175 degrees, which is like crazy low for PLA, and it was still too hot. So there's definitely some issues with the thermistor or something like that. But anyways... The very first thing that I'm going to be doing to this printer is, of course, putting clipper on it. I want to have full control over this printer via very easily via text file like clipper is. So I'm going to be replacing the main board here with a SKR2, Big Tree Tech SKR2. The reason why I'm going with an SKR2 is because it's a small compact board that uses three pin um, end stop connectors so I don't have to rewire any of this it should all just plug in really nicely so I'm just going to do a drop-in replacement for the SKR2 right in here um, clipper does not support the touch screen that comes with this printer but as luck would have it I have a Raspberry Pi screen which is exactly the same dimensions so I'm actually going to be mounting this in the stock location and it's going to run clipper screen so the only disadvantage of that is I have to run a Raspberry Pi on this printer. So I'm going to have to try to find a used Raspberry Pi 4, which I'm going to be putting in right here. And then that way I can run Clipper Screen. However, I'm not going to wait for that. I'll just run this printer off of my laptop, my normal Clipper laptop for now. Um, the screen will come later. I just want to get Clipper on here and I want to uh, get this printer printing well. So. Another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using uh, a different effector for this printer. I've already started prototyping here a Remix. So this is a effector I found on Thingiverse. I am remixing this so that I can use a Fadus Rapido. You can actually see here I have a rigid mount uh, Fadus Rapido. I just want to get rid of this hot end and thermistor and I want to put in a known good one. The reason why I'm going with a Fadus Rapido is I like the Fadus um, line of hot ends. They're very, very high quality and they work with all sorts of different types of filaments. This printer, I'm not going to be doing like anything crazy with it. It's just going to be printing PLA. So uh, a Rapido is definitely more than enough for that. So I'm going to be putting a Fadus Rapido on here. And then I'm actually also going to be designing a mount here so I can use Sailfin extruder. So... I'm getting rid of this Titan extruder, uh, flying extruder there, and I'm going to go with a direct drive sail fin. So that's kind of the stage one uh, modifications to this printer. I want to see how it prints after that. So clipper on here, brand new effector, Fetus Rapido, and a sail fin direct drive. And then what we'll do is we'll do another print. I'll do the exact same print there and we'll see if there's any improvements. So that's a quick overview here on part one for what I'm doing with my Predator. Um, in part two is probably where we'll start. I'll probably have Clipper on here. I can go through the config file. Of course, I'll put all this kind of stuff on a GitHub. If anyone else has a Predator and they want to do these same modifications, I will put my config file and stuff like that once I build it. 
up on GitHub so people can use that as well. I may eventually uh, replace the V slot wheels with linear rails. There are mods online for that, which I could easily adapt. And then potentially maybe put um, mag ball ends on this. But for now, I, these don't have any play in them and I think they're, they're okay. So like I say, we're gonna take it one step at a time. I'm gonna do clipper first along with a Fadus Rapido and direct drive. And let's see where we get from there and see what kind of print quality we have. So that's a quick wrap up here on my Predator mods. Um, this is a quick overview. And like I say, part two, we'll go through how it's working with Clipper and I'll talk a little bit more about the effector and that type of thing. Thanks again, everyone.